Hey, what's up everybody? VR Gamer Dude here, and today on VR on the Go, we're checking out Evil Dead Virtual Nightmare. That's right. So, you know, I've been a huge fan of this movie series forever. I was loving the TV show Ash vs. Evil Dead until it got canceled. Boo. And, uh, you know, the other day I'm over on the Go store and I see this and I'm like, wow. All right. As a fan of the series, I've got to check this out. And I'm glad I did. It's not mind-blowing by any means, but if you're a fan of Evil Dead, it definitely plays service to you. And it's got a fun little runner game in there. So we're going to jump in, we're going to check out a little bit of the cabin experience, a little bit of the runner, and see if I can survive the Deadites in Evil Dead Virtual Nightmare. Okay, so looks like we've got the uh, the main brunt of it here, which is the uh, runner uh, shooting game, um, and then we've got the cabin experience. Now, I played a little bit of the runner uh, last night. I haven't checked out the cabin experience yet, so eh, let's go ahead and start with that. We'll we'll check out a little bit of both here. So, whoa! Oh, that feels so cool. He's watching you. Alright, here we are in the iconic cabin, and we got our Jedi trapped in the cellar there. Awesome. Really cool looking animation on that, too. So, okay, there's our Necronomicon, Book of the Dead. Very cool effect, by the way. So, uh-oh. What happened? Uh-oh, hey, no. Now, lady, you just watch your mouth there. This is a family show. So, all right, uh, looks like it is a tap to move option, so we can uh, just click the uh, the trigger here on the Oculus uh, Go controller, and that will move us. Now, you're definitely going to want a swivel chair or uh, to be standing for this one. Um, it's uh, definitely 360 here. Oops, it's right there, right back. So, getting a little disoriented here as to where I'm at. Join us. No, no, I don't want to join you, lady. I can smell your filthy soul. Uh, no, no. Don't smell Kiss my filthy soul. Fuck. Um, hey now. Oh, hey. Ooh, nasty. So, okay, so that was the, uh, the cabin experience there. And it looks like I, I get a little reward here. I've got a dead cat, or I've got a box cutter. So, um, let's see here, I think I'll go for a weapon, let's take the box cutter. So, you know, and it does track, like I said, I played a little bit last night, uh, uh, your distance here and what we're about to get into the game, um, and my groovy factor, that's awesome. So it looks like my best distance was 1,038, best time, best kills 20. So, uh, you know, like I said, this part of the game is kind of just a runner, um, and uh, you're, you're kind of slashing deadites as you go, trying to get to the end uh, game here, which you fight a boss. So, all right, let's go ahead and go through the door here. Let's go ahead and equip. I'm going to take the uh, crowbar. All right, here we go. Got my crowbar. Now, you can um, control your speed, so that's cool. So if you swipe left on the trackpad, it will uh, slow you down. If you swipe right, it will speed you up. And basically, we just got to run through here and try not to get killed by the deadites here. So. Ha! <laughs> Taste my crowbar. Now, your crowbars are not infinite. As you notice there, it says one, so man, there I go. And now I need to pick up another weapon or I have to use my fist. 100. Oh, got the box cutter. There we go. All right. Come on, you. Where you at? Uh-oh, he got me. So, you know, at first I was a little annoyed by it, but the, the effect of the, of the pulsating blood around the, uh, the field of view here is kind of a neat effect. Alright, come on. I got this, I got this. You really gotta time your slashes on those guys, too. Ah, 
gotcha. Uh, yeah, give me my crowbar back. Nice. Slow down a little bit. Kind of explore a bit. And it's not linear. I mean, you can explore here just a bit through the forest. Um, but ultimately, we want to get to that glowing circle there. Nice. Oh, boom! Hit you. Oh! Smacked into a tree. I didn't know that could injure me. What we got? Yes! Okay. Cool looking boss. Now, this is a little difficult because you gotta kinda. Alright, so that was the shortest boss fight in history, but you know, the movement in that is, is extremely difficult. You're having to swipe left and right on the trackpad. I really wish more developers would get in the habit of just letting us press on the trackpad to, to for the movement the the swiping just doesn't feel right oh yes i'll definitely take a nail gun so all right i think we'll give that one more run and then uh, we will call it a day here so all right there we go got my nail gun equipped let's go oh yeah now much better though would have been if i actually could have aimed the nail gun um so come on guys Give me a little motion control here. Oh, and I can smack him with the butt of the gun. Very cool. Alright, let's run. Let's go. Let's bust this. Come on, give me a weapon. Really gotta time that. Cutter? No, I don't want the box cutter. Nice. Slash. Run faster, Ash. Damn it. Let's see if we can get back to that boss and last more than like five seconds this time. Oh, uh oh. Alright, gotta concentrate slashes. At least the box cutter seems infinite. I don't know why the crowbar wasn't. So that was Evil Dead Virtual Nightmare, and yeah, I gotta say I liked it all right. It, it's not mind-blowing, it's not the best thing on the go, but if you're a fan of the Evil Dead franchise, if you've loved the movies, if you've loved the TV series, you gotta check this out. It's a no-brainer. I mean, the devs have definitely put a lot of fan service into this, so I'm gonna throw a link for it into the description, and you can go there and grab a copy and see for yourself, but for me... That's it today, guys. I'm out of here. Lunch is over. It's time to get back to work. This is VR Gamer Dude, signing off, y'all. Peace.